Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching, we're in statics and we're gonna do problem 3.61 of the book, okay? It says determine the tension in each cable for equilibrium, okay? So we got this force, that's uh, 800 newtons going up and we got these three cables, cable the AD, cable AB and cable AC that are basically supporting all these 800 load, 800 newtons load, okay? So in order to do the forces in equilibrium, we need to find the unit vectors for each cable uh, that, is, that we have over here. So we need three unit vectors. So in order to do this, what we're going to do is that we're going to define each of these points. So let's just start with point A. Okay, so point A is exactly at the XY origin, but it has an altitude of 5 meters that I actually didn't write, but it's displayed on the book. Okay, point B, it's this guy over here, which is located exactly at the XY altitude, and it has four and four for each one. So it has four on the X, four on the Y, and zero meters in the altitude, okay? For the Z, what do we have? We have that it has zero in the Z direction, but it has two, negative two in the X direction, so negative two. It has a positive 3 in the y direction and we already said that it was 0 for the altitude, okay? Now, uh, we just need to do the last one which is point D. For point D, we have uh, negative 4 in the x direction. We got negative 5 in the y direction and we have 0 meters altitude, okay? So now that we have these guys, so we're gonna find, let's just start with AB, so vector AB. So if we do the vector AB, we know that vector AB is going to be B minus A. So we start 4, 4 minus 0 in the I direction, which gives me 4, 4 minus 0 in the J direction, so positive 4 in the J direction, and we got 0 minus 5 in the k direction okay so that's for that one we need the magnitude of a b so if we use our calculator we need to do the square root of four square four square and five square so the square root of four square plus four square plus five square so this is pythagorean theorem you guys already know how to do this so this gives me 7.55, okay? This is the magnitude. So for the unit vector, I'm gonna write it over here. So I keep them, all the unit vectors on the left whenever I need to erase the board. So I'll have four divided by 7.55. So we got, let's see what it is. We got 0.53 in the i direction we're gonna have the same in the j direction 0 0.53 in the j direction and in the k direction we're gonna have 5 divided by our magnitude gives me negative 0 0.662 in the k direction okay so that was it for unique vector a b now let's do cable a c so I'm going to draw a little line so we don't get confused. For cable AC, what do we have? So now we're going to do C minus A. So we got minus 2 minus 0. That gives me negative 2 in the I direction. Then we have 3 minus 0. That gives me positive 3 in the J direction. And then we have 0 minus 5. That gives me negative 5 in the K direction. Okay? These guys are meters. And if we find the magnitude of this, Okay, well, it's it. So we got square root of 2 square plus 3 square plus 5 square, and this is equal to 6.16 meters. Okay, so for the unit vector that I'm gonna write it over here for cable AC, so you guys know that it's gonna be 2 divided by the magnitude, so we got negative 2 divided by our 6.16. 
it gives me negative 0 0.324 in the i direction and then we have 3 positive 3 divided by our 6.16 gives me positive oh i did it wrong so it's 3 divided by 6.16 it's 0 0.487 four eight seven in the j direction and last negative five divided by our six point sixteen gives me negative zero point eight one one in the k direction okay finally our last one for cable a d what do we have so for cable a d we'll have negative four minus zero that get, gives me negative four in the in the i direction not in the j in the i direction okay we have negative 5 minus 0 that gives me negative 5 in the j direction and we have 0 minus 5 gives me negative 5 in the k direction okay and all this is in meters so we need to do the magnitude of this guy so for cable ad what do we have for cable ad we have so we need to do square root of 4 square plus 5 square plus another 5 square. That gives me equal to 8 on 12 meters, okay? So the unit vector for cable AD is going to be equal to negative 4 divided by our 8.12. So negative 4 divided by our 8.12. That gives me negative 0. 4, 9, 2 in the i direction, we got negative 5 divided by 8.12, so negative 5 divided by 8.12 gives me 0 0.615 in the j direction, and last we have the same amount in our k direction, okay? So we have our three unit vectors. So when we have our three unit vectors over here, now we can erase all this, we don't need it anymore. We can do our summatorial forces in the x, y, and z directions, okay? So, let's just start. Summatorial forces in the x direction, okay? So what do I have in the x direction? For my cable A, B, I have 0.53, so 0 0.53 for my cable AB, positive. I have negative 0 0.324 for my cable AC, so negative 0 0.324 for my cable AC. And I have negative for my cable AD, which is 0 0.492 for my cable AD. And it all should be equal to zero, okay? Now, if we do the summatorial forces in the y direction, what do we have? For the y, I have positive 0 0.53 of cable AB. I got 0 0.487. So 0 0.487 for my cable AC. And for my cable AD, I got negative 0 0.615. Uh, 615 and this is for my cable AD and all this should be equal to zero okay now last the summatorial forces in the z direction what do I have I got negative 0 0.662 for cable AB I got negative 0 0.811 so 0 0.811 for my cable AC and I got negative 0 0.615 for my cable AD so negative 0 0.615 for my cable AD and all this should be equal to my 800 newtons because my 800 newtons are going straight up so it's for my Z direction so we got 800 newtons okay now My 800 newtons should be negative. 
why negative in this case because so if i were to uh, if i was to do the equation of equilibrium i will do plus 800 should be equal to zero now my 800 are going to the other side so basically i will have this equation i had before which is equal to negative 800 newtons okay now we're fine and let's see what do we get so uh, we're gonna do matrices again so the way that this is going to be let's say i have a matrix a this is how we're gonna compute it in the calculator and then i'm gonna put 0 0.53 then my next my next column is gonna be negative 0 0.324 and then my next column is going to be negative 0 0.492 okay and then i go for my next row which is 0 0.53 and then 0 0.487 and negative 0 0.615 so basically this is my first row second row third row and then this is my first column second column third row third column okay so it's like that and then we get negative 0 0.662 negative 0 0.811 and negative 0 0.615 and that's my first matrix my second matrix is going to be equal to it's going to be a 3 by 1 matrix so it's only one column and three rows and then the, my first answer which is 0 my second answer which is 0 and my last answer which is negative 800 okay so the way that you're, we're going to Put in the uh, calculator in the computer in the calculator that we do a the inverse of a multiplied by matrix b okay so according to the calculator my answers are going to be for cable a b it's equal to 578 newtons for cable a c we got 85.5 a newtons and for cable ad we have equal to 566 newtons okay so these are my three answers for this problem thank you guys for watching if you guys have any questions or any comments just put it down below and i'll see you guys in the next video